Hey guys, welcome back to Badminton Over Time. Today we're gonna go over backhand and some common mistakes. All right, so this is how you hit your backhand clear. Your backhand smash is about the same, okay? Backhand clear, right? This is where you hit. Your head racket flat. Going up a little bit is okay. This is, remember, this is how you hit, right? Not facing down. Facing flat or facing up a little bit, okay? Then you pull, you hit, follow through. Okay, remember your elbow position when you're about to hit. Pointing up, where's your target? Pointing your target, where the shuttle cock will be, right? Then you follow through. Now, the common mistakes uh, my students, uh, players do, so that's why their backhand is uh, weaker. Because when, when they hit, they pull back their elbow, right? Imagine, you're supposed to swing, right? your head racket swing that big, right? Relax, should be swing that big. But when you pull your elbow back, then become swing only that big, only this small. So then, normally that's weak and mistakes, okay? And not comfortable. Then you're gonna strain muscle on your uh, elbow area, okay? So you be followed through, right? Follow through, right? And another common mistake, follow through too much, meaning the elbow moving too much, then when you hit, you late. Then the head racket facing up. Then the shallow cock is not going forward, it's only going up. A lot of uh, my students asking like how to hit my backhand or I uh, feel like my backhand is very weak. For me, as long as long you can make the sound with your wrist, then it's not weak. Because the most important is the timing. It's not how, how big your muscle is, how strong you are. No, it's just the timing. Remember, the first uh, basic hitting in badminton is pull and push and you hit to your target, straight line to your target. Sample in the forehand, pull and push, right? So now in the backhand, this is your position here. This is where you wanna hit. You see my head racket, flat facing forward, right? As long as long you can uh, hit it, the shuttlecock straight to your target, right? And then just follow through with your wrist, right? Sample, this is very loose, uh, no power grip, right? As long as I can push forward, then it should be, it should be okay. Now imagine that this one is no power at all. I just squeeze a little bit. It's already, it's already pretty good already. More than half court, right? Now the more I squeeze, the bigger I swing, right? Then more power I squeeze. The other common mistake also what uh, my students do, when they pull, they pull in like this, which is this twisting, the, which is this one, then how you get the power because you're not, you cannot push, you twist back, right? You have to pull, comfortable, pull, then push forward, right? Remember the timing when you hit flat to your target, okay? So remember, eh? not this pull, this kind of pull. Then you just follow through straight to your target. Thank you for watching. Uh, give it a try. Uh, I hope that this video helps uh, your backhand, improve to your backhand. And if you like it, uh, don't forget to hit the like button. And if you're new here, don't forget to subscribe. Thanks guys, see you next time.